So there are some pretty crazy keyboard placement ideas out there. There's a video from Anthony Abraham uh, in particular, which is very interesting. He uses the old uh, Ergo Docs keyboard with a wooden structure sort of down by his side, but of course that's all kind of fixed in one place and doesn't have any application away from your primary working environment. So I'm always interested in exploring something that's got portability in mind, so sort of really good ergonomics, but it's also portable. So that, and that's where the beanbag idea works so well. It's kind of fantastic in a car or in a sofa or on your, your, in your office on the table. It just works in so many different places and it's got this sort of infinite adjustability that lets you experiment with positioning. So you could have your, your desk down low with your hands down there, which actually I really enjoy using it in that position with a sort of open elbow and lets you and your, your hands down. Your hands kind of use gravity to keep your wrist neutral then and you don't have to sort of think about it so much as this sort of natural feeling of just letting your hands fall down into the right place with the keyboard. The beanbag lets that happen just nicely as well. So it was actually when I was experimenting with that position with the beanbag, some hands down low on the desk, much lower while I was standing up and, um, and you know, sort of your hands are still out in front of you on the desk. I wondered what would happen if you could bring your hands back more in line with your body and still allow those hands to come down. So a bit more like those wooden structures on Anthony's video, uh, but you know, without the sort of the hassle of the structure. So before it broke, I was using the Gergoplex primarily, uh, which is a very, very small, very light keyboard. So I grabbed some elastic bands and, and stuck the keyboard to my legs with the elastic bands and had a little play with where that might feel comfortable typing. So the Gogoplex actually had an issue with the USB port and I think I made it worse by by trying to fix it and I think I kind of blew it up. So since then I've switched to the Ferris, uh, which I'll do another video on. Um, and so that works just as well as the Gogoplex with the elastic bands. So these tiny caseless keyboards like the Gergoplex and the Ferris work so well with this idea. You know, you can stick the elastic band through between the, the switches um, and it just sits flush against your legs. There's uh, there's no sort of wobble or, you know, they're not too big to do this nicely and they're quite stable and you can still adjust the angle quite easily uh, with the elastic as well. So I discovered this actually works just as well sitting down as it does standing up. You can just change the position of them on your legs and adjust the rotation to get it right and it works just as well in that position too. So the Gergoplex and my first version of the Ferris was actually USB only. So you've still got the big TRS cable and the USB cable. So you definitely want to make sure you've got a magnetic connector on there, uh, which is a bit problematic with the Gergoplex because it uses uh, mini USB and not micro. And uh, there's just no magnetic connectors for that. But I was using a short adapter. So you plug in the adapter to the cable and then you have a magnetic connector on the end. So that worked okay uh, if you can't use a micro USB. So whatever happens here, yeah, there's definitely a strong chance you'll just get up and walk out of the room and forget, <laughs> forget you're connected up. So the magnetic connector is a good shout there. So one of the issues with a split keyboard is when you move your hand to your trackpad or mouse and come back, it's kind of hard to find where you're coming back to. Normally with a fixed keyboard, the fact that you keep your left hand, or your non-mouse hand on the keyboard helps you come back and find the same place because your mind kind of knows where your hands are. So the same kind of deal happens when you've got the halves of your keyboard on your legs. It's easier to come back to a place on your own body than you know some space on your desk. So that's an interesting benefit of doing this with this as, as a split keyboard. So using the elastic bands, I actually use a connected series of elastic bands uh, to get the right kind of tension on it, uh, but they didn't last very long. They kept snapping, so it's not, not actually a good format just using normal elastic bands. But uh, I, I changed that to an elastic ribbon, a sort of fabric kind elastic ribbon, and that works much better, much more durable. So these black elastic ribbons actually are a bit better. They, they do kind of twist up over time, but they last a lot longer than the elastic bands and they're much thinner as well. And they don't snag on the clothes quite as much as the original elastic did. So it's worth noting this actually works really well with an iPad as well. So you can have the iPad in the middle on a beanbag, keyboard stuck to your legs on the outside, and you can sit on a sofa and work on a computer like that. Split keyboards and iPads kind of always a little bit fiddly compared to a fixed one like the plank. Um, but this setup allows it to happen in kind of a stable way. So the other potential avenue with this, of course, is using the keyboard like this while you're lying down. So it's just a question of what you do with the screen. So, you know, you kind of find yourself wondering about what you could do with a VR headset and the keyboard in this position lying down. That might be a pretty interesting thing to explore. So basically being able to work anywhere from sitting or standing or in the office or away or on the sofa uh, is hugely appealing with this kind of idea. So since my first attempt at the Ferris, I've actually made it wireless now, having switched the controllers to nice nanos. Um, that is amazing. So no wire between them and no wire to the host. Obviously it's not quite as reliable as with the USB connection, but it fits in your pocket with no wires and that means it can work with your phone. So I'm kind of thinking if with this elastic band idea, you could stick the halves to your legs, grab the phone with a magnetic connector on the back and just stick it to any metal surface and you have immediately got a stand up working environment that came out of your pockets. That's pretty cool. So do let me know if you've tried any interesting keyboard placement ideas and how you're getting on with them. Uh, it'd be great to get a collection of those in the comments below, I think. 
if you click my name below, have a look at some of the other videos I've done. Hopefully you'll agree it's worth subscribing and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.